Dear friends, in this video, we are going to learn how can you prepare this kind of a graph where you have transaction by status, successful, failed, abandoned. So how can you create this kind of a graph? Let's learn in this video. For this, I'm opening an existing dashboard, which is created by me and I'm going to click on edit. And once you click on edit, you have the option to click on add, click on visualization. Now here I am I am interested in the QORG for the entire organization I'm building this. So I'm going to select this as my scope. So this pulls me all the data that is there in the organization. Now here let me type what I need is transaction by status. By status. Now what I always say the important part is knowing the fields. So because I am in the queue, the field which I am interested is, is the processing one, the processing status of the transactions. Okay. So here, if I hit enter, let me type queue processing maybe. Okay, so this is the one actually, the processing status. So I'll click on this and simply I'm going to click on run. So what happens? A queue item goes through multiple different statuses. Successful, abandoned, deleted, failed, right? These are the your major statuses. Successful, failed, deleted, abandoned. Now, here I would like to also see the count. So I will say, simply type count and there is something called queue item count. And if you run now, it now tells me abandoned in, in your entire organization. See, abandoned is 5, deleted is 70, failed are 12, successful are 965. This is what the total values in your entire organization. Now let us apply some filter. Let's say I'm not interested to see the deleted ones. Okay, I'm just interested to see the failed, successful and abandoned. So what I will do, I'll click on the very first layer called filter. Click on this button. And then I would like to apply the filter based on the processing status. So simply I'll say processing. Okay, so you get processing status. And here I am going to select all the required fields that I want to see. So for example, I want to see successful. I want to see failed. I want to see abandoned. So like that, you can apply the filters. So now if you run after applying the filter, you see the deleted item, the row number second will disappear. You can see because of the filter, I can only see abandoned, failed, successful. Now this comes in this kind of a graph. Let's say I'm not inter interested in this graph, rather I am interested in a pie. So all I will do simply click on pie and you can see the data how it is appearing. So successful 98% is failed 12.22 to abandoned 0.51. Now what happens? The successful which is coming in yellow color by default. Let's say I'm not interested in this color. I would like to make some modification to this color. And also, because it is pulling the entire organization, also you can see, this is how it is coming. I want to literally have certain filters so that I can select a very specific queue. If you are interested like that, you can also click on filter and simply say maybe the process name, uh, queue name. Click on this. Let's say I am interested this pie graph for a very specific queue. So click on this and I'm going to select RPA challenge uh, queue. Hopefully this is the one. Let me run it. Okay, there's no data in that queue. I think the name was RPA challenge Q1. Okay, now you can see it is showing some graph. So successful failed, uh, but failed is showing in green color. Rather, I want the successful to have green color. How will you edit this graph? Okay, if you simply save it, this is how your graph will appear. 
now you are you would like to change the colors of it okay for example i'll click on this let's say i want to make this green so i'll click on edit and here there, there is something called series click on series and here it will allow you to select the color so successful and let's say i want to select this as a green color and failed maybe uh maybe red color and abandoned maybe uh yellow color so you can see how this your graph is coming okay now i'm going to hit on run so it's up to you to see which color you really need them and i'm going to hit on save so now it is showing me transaction by status now you would say rakesh i'm not see what you have done is you have applied a filter inside this i don't want a filter here what if remove the filter apply the filter in the dashboard itself even that is possible so i'm going to hit on save so now what you see is for the entire organization click on the filter add filter and here simply say q name So Q name. Uh, so this is how it will appear. So instead of checkbox, I will say tag list. So it gives me a drop down something like this. And um, values. These are the values. And simply hit on add. So what happens? Now you created a filter here. Okay. So if you save this, you'll be able to clearly see this how it works. Okay. It's saved. I can see the Q name. Let's say I'm interested in this Q, um, RP Challenge Q1. I will select that and refresh the data. That's all. So select and refresh. You can see the graph has come. If you select, you know, I can, let's say I, I am also want to see test both of them at the same time. You can do this. Okay. So this would give you a option to filter things. All right. So now there are still more questions. So if you see the fail, it's saying 40%, which is not right. Because in this failed, you also might be having business exceptions and application exceptions. So business exceptions is the bot has succeeded, right? It has identified there's a business exception. So what you really want is anything which is a business exception, you would like to define that business exception separately rather than it's saying failed how this customization can be done for the transaction by status i'm going to show in my next video thank you for watching